Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling, Communications Manager for Friends of Science, and today on Climate Conversations, we talk with member and former director of Friends of Science Society, Dr. Neil Hutton. Dr. Hutton, welcome. You've written a number of letters to the Alberta and Canadian governments, and what are your objections? In Europe and UK, in the winter time for the poor, the decision has been to heat or eat. And it's a sign as such that it will no doubt yield the result that the government wishes in the form of carbon taxes, carbon trading, and other policies which have proved seriously damaging to energy costs in many other jurisdictions. But advocates say these decarbonizing measures are necessary to save the planet. Unfortunately, the current climate scare is not about science, but politics. Science is about the search for truth, to understand how our universe works. The International Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, with its mandate to establish human causation of warming has become a self-fulfilling prophecy. And despite constantly having their evidence falsified, they simply proclaim the same message, but more stridently. Those are strong statements. We are told there is a consensus and that the science is settled, but you base your critique on conflicting evidence, if I understand it. Can you explain what you think is wrong with the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or the IPCC's interpretation of the evidence? In the last IPCC summary, AR5, they state they are 95% confident that warming since 1951 is human-caused. And yet the climate cooled from 1950 to 1979, resulting in predictions of a new ice age. From 1979 until 1998, there was a warming coincident with rising CO2. But in 1998, they ceased. And there has been no statistically significant warming since. So only in 19 of the last 65 years, 30%, has there been CO2 associated with warming. Moreover, IPCC climate models are 97% inaccurate in predicting future climate. And so their confidence in human causation is pure rhetoric without scientific support. Dr. Hutton, thank you so much for talking with us. Join us again for Climate Conversations. For Friends of Science, I'm Michelle Sterling.